Yo, what's up? It's your boy Walter Emanuel Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! <laughs> Yo, check it out. Just gotta give a shout out to my boy. You know what time it is? It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! I can't do this on my own, cause you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake. It feels so good to be reporting some new Power Rangers news for the second day in a row. Now the homie Jennings Patterson sent me this over and we have to shout out the Power Scoop again. They are jumping at the opportunity to get some new news out to the fans and make sure you go check out their website and you go check them out on Twitter. The power scoop is pretty amazing. And without them, I would not be making this video. They are confirming that Lori Dungy is coming back for Cosmic Fury, best known as Louise Boom in SPD. The mother to fan favorite character Boom, Dungy returns to Power Rangers voice acting talent pool as the voice of Snodia in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Dungy last appeared on screen in Ninja Steel as the character of Mrs. Bell, appearing in three episodes across Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel. Mrs. Bell was the secretary for the Summer Cove High School, the main location of the season. Most recently vocalized, she voiced the monster Gamerella in Beast Morphers. While not appearing on screen in Dino Fury, she still worked behind the scenes in the ADR department as a supervisor and director of voice talent. Now, I actually think that's pretty cool that they keep a lot of these voice acting characters around, even the ones that didn't appear on the screen in a season. We're still, you know, hanging out, helping uh, be a supervisor and director of talent. And then she did such a good job. They're bringing her back. Now, with Cosmic Fury giving us new monsters and villains created for the season, there is no word at this time on what the character of Snodia will look like. That's the character she's going to play. How will she interact with the Rangers? We have no idea. Cosmic Fury is coming exclusively to Netflix in 2023. But until then, we have to talk about it. Will this character be like a Solon? Will she be a villain? Will she just be like a side character? Will she be like a mucus type character? I'm excited, but Snoutia makes me think it's like a dog type character, like Snout, I guess. I could be totally wrong, but what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments, and I love these type of videos, man. I love talking about new news. I love talking with the fans and hearing what you guys have to say. And speaking of that, let's see what the fans have to say about us getting some new voice actors. Jonathan said, I'm interested in to see what these voice actors roles will be in Cosmic Fury. Yo, I agree. We got two announced yesterday and then we got one announced today. But today we actually got a name of a character that she plays. So I thought that's pretty cool. Amber said the Psycho Rangers question mark. Oh my God, how cool would that be if they came back? I don't think they're gonna come back because you would have to bring back the in space team then. Steven said, one day I'm gonna see the Power Rangers cast. Yo, go do it. They're literally out every single weekend. I think it would be a lot of fun. Joseph said, I hope we see a trailer for Cosmic Fury in the summer sometime. I believe that will happen. Uh, maybe late summer, maybe July, August, but you will see a trailer. That's my prediction. Ultimate Inferno said they should have old Sentai suits and make some of their own monster suits if possible. Now, I don't think we're using Sentai suits, but I think we are using some monster suits. Will they make their own? Samurai Spirited said this is very exciting. Matt said they are just rumors for now. Well, hey, these things are coming out. And yesterday, the voice actors actually put that up on their IG and said that they were recording for Power Rangers. So I guess you could call that a rumor. 
but I call that actually coming from the source. I don't know. Mike said, what about Demetria? Yo, that would be crazy if they brought Demetria back. Stone Cold said, I'd love to see the villains from Forever Red make an appearance. Oh, that would be cool. There is a lot that they can do with this season, and I'm really excited about it, but there's only 10 episodes. But I do think since they're giving us last filler, there's going to be more opportunity for some really dope stories and some really dope action. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I just want to thank the fans for taking the time out of their day for watching this content. You are the real MVPs, and without you guys, we could not make daily videos like this one. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a very special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Thomas Franco, Tim Rage, Dig Wyron, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, the voiceless one. Let's talk sports. Dead Echo X Ray, Papillon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Marazas, Austin White, Willie Maloney, and Lewis Cairns. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.